Hey there, I'm Luke the Cooking Camper along with Zena the Glamper Camper. And you guys, we have a crazy fun project today. It's my mama's birthday soon and we are going to be in Iowa, um, close to her birthday. So what me and Zena are doing today is we're gonna run around, we're gonna try to find a really cute, like, just like weird planter. And then I wanna fill it full of like cactus or succulents for her because she is like the queen of house plants, you guys. She can keep, no matter what it is, she can keep it alive for years and years and years. I, on the other hand, if it's inside my house, it's gonna be dead within a week or two. But, so we're starting at Burlington. The last time I was here, before I decided I wanted to do this project, I noticed that they had kind of a big like outdoor section. So me and Zena are gonna go see if they have any cute planters. After this, we're going to Home Goods. So right off the bat, Burlington does have some really cute and especially affordable pieces. But for this project, I'm just looking for something like crazy, something funky, something fun. I mean, this is a big deal. It's got to be a super cute planter. So let's head to Home Goods. You guys, Home Goods has every single planter you can possibly, possibly think of. Look at how cute all of these are. And you guys, me and Zena got the pig. Oh my gosh. Okay. We are in love with home goods, and you guys, this dude goes for like $57 on Amazon. We got him for only $29.99. Can you even believe that? His head freaking jiggles. He's got a drain hole and everything. So, I know I said we were going to more stores. Obviously, we had to go buy the plants. So, we stopped at home. I'm cooking some lunch, and then we're going to go buy the plants for Mr. Piggy here. And what a great time to tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video. So Munchbird makes some crazy, crazy, crazy delicious looking little puppers treats. So we actually have a couple of samplers here and some chicken chips. So Zena is very, very excited to try these. So I'm going to give her some of these and I'm going to eat my lunch. But we do have a link and a promo code down below for you guys. The deets on the promo code is down below also. Great for dental health, joint and heart support, and healthy skin and shiny coat. So these look super crazy delicious. Let's give Xena some. Here you go. Here you go, eat your chicken chip. Here you go. She doesn't like to eat on camera. <gasps> Good girl, is that delicious? She likes to eat really small stuff. So I did break it up. The great thing about this though, is for some reason I was expecting it to be like rock solid, but it is not nearly as hard as you think it would be. So it's actually great for Xena because she doesn't have tons of teeth left. And look at that. She's going in for more and I'm not even handing it to her. Well, we want to give a big thank you to Munchbird for wanting to partner up with Xena. It was, I felt bad. Long story short, the shipping got a little bit mixed up somehow. So they ended up sending us this chicken chips bag also. And you guys, Xena loves it. She is obviously going to try all of this stuff too. This is a sampler. It's got multiple different treats in it. So maybe a little bit later in the day, We'll try to give her some of this stuff too. But yeah, again, check out our promo code and our link down below. And now I am going to go eat some lunch. And then we are going to go get some plants for Mr. Piggy. Okay, so me and Zena just got to Summerwind's Nursery. Right off the bat, first I was thinking like all cacti. But I don't know, now I'm thinking like... Maybe some cool philodendron or just some like funky inside plants. That one is very, very pretty. So we're just gonna um, look around and see if we find anything that we like. This one right here is really pretty. This right here, that's pretty. But all of these little cacti and succulents are really pretty too. So I think what we're gonna do is me and Zena are just gonna walk around, make some decisions, and then we will let you guys know what we got. Okie dokie, you guys. We just got home, and these are the plants that we got. Now, Mr. Piggy here, I have a feeling I'm gonna want more plants, but I think I'm gonna put these in there and just see what it looks like. There was a couple more plants that I wanted from Summerwind's Nursery, but you guys, some of them, like one, 
was this size. It was called like bundle of sticks and it was like $25. So I'm not saying my mom is not worth that. I'm just saying the plant I don't think was worth that. So we're just going to go through the plants really fast. This beautiful little creature is a variegated prickly pear. I just think that that and it's naturally that like pinky color on parts of it. So I think that is going to look so cute inside of Mr. Piggy. Then, I know I'm just like casually doing this in my kitchen. We have a Mammillaria, I think. Mammillaria elongata pink flower. So the thing you gotta be careful about is I think I just dropped one. These things, they're not crazy. I mean, they are pokey. This thing like drops the needles. I don't, I noticed that on in the cart or whatever. I dropped a couple, so I don't know. Hopefully I didn't buy like a dying cactus or something. So that one is gonna chill right there. Then we have this Stapelia gigantia or gigantia. Now one interesting thing about this one, you guys. So this size, it's a two inch container. This was $2 or $3.99. One pot size up from this, maybe double the size of the plant, but no bigger than I'd say like 150% bigger maybe, was $19.99. So I'm really confused by this. I don't know if it's labeled wrong or how it could go that um high up in price. It must take forever to grow. So I mean that works in this situation because all these things are going to be really tight tightly um put in there this baby is super 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 dried out gasteria little warty so i'm gonna try to separate that up i loved the pinky color and then the last plant we got is the first plant i picked out isn't that beautiful this is a senecio fish hook so like some of the plants are like a crazy good deal like this plant for only 7.99 i think that's a deal this plant for only 3.99 that's a deal but just like all garden centers and nurseries, I guess, certain plants just seem kind of ridiculously priced. So like I said, I'm going to get these ones planted and then I'm going to see. I really do think I'm going to want more plants in here. I want this to be like super tight, but we'll just have to see. Okay, it's time to plant up Mr. Piggy on the kitchen floor. And you guys, right away you're going to realize that I did not get enough plants. But that is A-OK. -okay. I don't like to rush anything like that. I like to really fall in love with each piece before I buy it. So I'm totally fine with that. I split up the one plant so that it could go in three different places. Then I tucked in the back, added the cactus. The um, variegated prickly pear doesn't seem to want to stand up straight. But I am A-OK -okay with that and just shoved everything in there. Look at how cute Mr. Piggy looks so far. This is kind of like the back of the arrangement. This side is kind of more of the front, but you guys, and look at this little space and look at these beautiful cacti. Are they going to fit? Yes. I mean, I will make them fit this. You guys even, okay. You might be looking at this and saying, Luke, um, is all of these things going to survive together or all, is everything going to thrive? You know what? All of this is very low water use plants. Everything likes to dry totally out before it gets watered again. This is for my mom and I want it to look beautiful right now. Even if it only lasts a month or two months after she gets it, I don't care. I could care less if everything in here dies three months, two months after she gets it. I mean, it looks beautiful now. It's like a flower arrangement. I mean, she is the queen of house plants. If she can keep all of it alive, more power to her. But, I mean, I want it to look beautiful, full, crazy, and that is what I'm going to do. So, I have four different moon cactus here. This is a cactus that's grafted onto another cactus called Gymnosalium, blah, 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 Frederici. So, I've got one bright yellow, two of this really cool red and orangey one, and then one hot pink. Then, we've got this beautiful little dude. This is right there. Melocactus azurus. Then we've got two more Mammillarii or whatever they're called. Mammillarum. Mammarillia gracius fragilis. I'm probably butchering these, by the way. And then this, look at that beauty. Mammarillia matude. So now we are going to plant up all of these cactus and 
obviously, I'm going to show you guys how it all goes down. Look at how cute it is already. Oh my goodness. It is honestly coming out way better than I ever could have imagined it. I think that the pig is just perfect and I'm in love. Okie dokie, you guys. Mr. Piggy is looking so absolutely cute. I really want this thing to be jam-packed. I am putting everything super close together. I completely took all of the dirt off of a couple of the plants. So those um, did not take up very much room at all. And he is looking full, but you guys, me and Xena did a thing. Oh my goodness, we just went back, you guys. My mom is worth a $25 plant. I mean, look at how, oh, the lighting is terrible. Look at how stunning this thing is. I saw it and I'm like, love at first sight. I just had to remind myself that my mother is worth a $25 plant. Look at how beautiful that is. And according to Google, it has really, really funky blooms. So I know a normal person is looking at that and is thinking, Luke, how on earth are you? And I have another plant right there. So we have this Cine chum called the bundle of sticks and then we have this is one i almost also was going to buy the first on the first round of plants this is a fishbone cactus so if you look this is at least what i'm thinking it might change once i get into this if you look at this mammalaria right here she's not like totally totally solid so i've got my skewer holding her up so the bundle of sticks i want to split in three and gradually differing sizes so one that's like half and then one that's like a third and then one that's the rest i want to put the largest chunk right here where my finger is and that will kind of get in there and help to hold up miss mammalaria right there then the next smallest or the next largest will go right here, I think. And then I'll put a little bit more and tuck it in right behind Mr. Piggy's head. Now, right here, you can see down in there, you can see the roots of the mammalaria. So these guys, the moon cacti, I don't know if you could tell when I was planting them because I did a, um, a time lapse. They are planted in their pots like really far down into the dirt. And for most of them, there's like almost no root system. If I remember right, this little one right here had the biggest root system. So I'm a little bit, I don't understand why they need to be planted so deep when there's no roots on a lot of what's underground. I'm not sure if that's just to give them stability or what, but they are not as deep in this planter as they were in their nursery pots. But I'm like literally loving this corner and you guys this side i still want to look good and crazy but really this is the front i mean i am absolutely absolutely loving this it's turning out way cooler way crazier way more colorful than i ever could have imagined this dude right here um i can't he's one of them i can't remember their names obviously um the first time i've ever done this so what i did was i took all of the dirt off of his roots and he's kind of like hanging out over the edge like I said, I don't really know how long term that's going to um, survive like that. But like I said, this arrangement is not necessarily about longevity. Um, she is the queen of houseplants. I swear she can keep anything alive for years and years and years. So, I mean, if she wants to keep some of these things and some other stuff starts dying, she can pick out the pieces, repot them, do whatever she wants. But my whole goal is to just make it look crazy and full and overwhelmingly just nuts then my fishbone cactus i want to stick one part or two maybe right down in this crack right here you can see that the roots and soil kind of right there and then maybe some like right in there behind mr piggy's head so i think we are just going to get into it i seriously freaking love this plant i mean I cannot believe that I didn't let myself buy this the first time. Look at how freaking cool it looks. Spoiler alert, by the time I add these plants, it looks like I haven't added anything. Oh my goodness, so I added the plants. I did them around the edges. And the main problem that I encountered, you guys, was that bundle of sticks. Once you broke it apart, 
there's like no root system down in there. So even the two clumps on this side that I put in there, I mean, if you do not, like if you just tried to pick up the whole planter right now, they would just fall out. They have literally zero root system at all. And each one of those little twigs is like its own, its own plant. So it was fun. I could put some over here on this side too, which I do like, but they have legit no roots. So there's like almost, and there's nothing you can pack in around. I mean, you can pack the dirt around them, but it, I don't know. They, to be honest, it, I don't know. I was just expecting them to have some more stability, I guess. And this mammalaria, whatever it's called, I, you guys, I cannot get it to stand up straight. It looks absolutely horrendous leaning at the angle it is right now. I don't know. I was really hoping that the bundle of sticks was gonna, the root ball from that was gonna help hold the root ball of this. But like I said, the bundle of sticks um, has no root ball. And it, the same gap right here is still here. So more plants it is. And then this dude kept wanting to fall over. So I did fill in the one gap right here but now I've got right in the center here that's just dirt. And now, I mean, if I don't want the sticks right here to fall out, I'm going to have to plant something with a substantial root ball or at least a thick, I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't even know, but it is not working in my favor today. But let me guys show you like the whole thing. Okay, so here is a better view. This is the front. So you can see I shoved in a couple of the bundles of sticks just all over the place because they fell apart. Once I took it out of the container, the, all of the pieces just crumbled apart. Then we put a couple pieces right there and then some of the fishbone cactus right here. The other two pieces, which one of them is actually two. So the other three pieces right there. We adjusted this dude. He kept wanting to fall over this moon cactus. Then we put in the rest of the bundle of sticks on this corner and on this corner. But you guys can see I was, oh, I was expecting this bundle of sticks right here to have a substantial enough root ball that it would help stabilize this dude. And that is absolutely not the case. So now I've got that big hole right there. And obviously I am going to add something there. But when you're doing like a crazy project like this, like when the goal is just for it to look totally wild and fun and have a ton of different stuff in there, you guys, every time you add stuff, it gets a little bit more difficult because you're trying to keep like certain stuff is like very unstable. Like all of the bundle of sticks, you guys, if I were to pick this up, they would just fall right out. Or if you were to slide the planter and this, um, there was a hand here or it would fall out. This dude is literally just hanging on by his roots. This guy, like I said, is will fall over. This guy keeps falling over. So right now, I don't know. We've already been to Summerwind's Nursery a couple times and Lowe's and Home Depot. But I think maybe me and Xena will run to um, Wally World. They've had a couple cool plants occasionally. But... I don't know. I really, I can't decide to do what to do with that tall mammalaria. I really do not like it leaning, which surprises me because all of the other tall stuff, I like the look of it leaning. I like the look of it like going out and around, but that one I just feel like needs to be straight up and down. I don't know. Maybe I am incorrect amundo, but I need to be able to get that to stand up straight somehow. And you guys, you can't see them because I vacuumed all of them up. I, I mean, if something is going to die first, it's going to be this dude right here. Look at all of the little, so each one of those dots used to be one of these and they're all falling off. So I really hope it's not dying, you guys. I really hope it's not dying. I mean, it's the beginning of the month. My mom's birthday is at the end of the month. And I'm going to be so sad if that guy dies. <laughs> so sad. But yeah, I am going to stop babbling. And me and Zena are going to go see if we can find more plants. 
So right off the bat, you guys, Walmart did not have a giant selection. And I did like some of their cacti, but I needed something that was almost like a filler that could fill up a large amount of space and not be hard to stick in there. So maybe soft spikes or no spikes at all. So I did find this little aloe dude. He is quite beautiful. Now you guys, obviously on every single topic, the internet is gonna have um, multiple sides to each story. This is a gold tooth aloe. So there's conflicting information about whether this aloe likes to get completely dried out or whether it likes to be like drenched in water constantly. So uh, we're just gonna put it in here. If it dies, it dies, but it's gonna look beautiful now. So I am gonna be able to split it up a little bit, but it's gonna go somewhere right in there. And then I know you guys, looks can be deceiving. If I still have more space, I brought in one little pad from my Pina Colada Prickly Pear outside that I'm thinking I could put right there. But we will see. So let's get into this. I just cannot believe how beautiful it looks. Okie dokie, so once we finished up, we got the last couple of plants into Mr. Piggy. We just had to clean up. And you guys, now we've just got to get it to Iowa in one piece. There he is. He's just chilling in the sink right now. And I've got to be honest, I did not realize how fragile this arrangement was. Just bringing it out from the house into the camper, uh, multiple plants started to fall and so yeah, if you can see that skewer right there, I've got many toothpicks and skewers holding everything up. Plus I've got extra just in case anything else starts to fall. A couple of the plants have become super, super droopy. Um, the fishbone cactus and the variegated prickly pear isn't super droopy, but he has started to droop a little bit. I've only watered it once. I um, don't want to water it. I Once we get to Iowa, I'll probably water it again. But yeah, Mr. Piggy is just chilling in the kitchen. And on another note, you guys can see the view. Road trips are the best. And there's snow back there. I think I just missed it. Okie dokie, you guys. You can see the snow a little bit better on that mountain. Right now, I think we're in Flagstaff. So, I don't think there's gonna be any like active snow in Iowa, but so far we're still in Arizona and we're already seeing snow. So, Mr. Piggy full of his little cacti, they're all probably thinking, what the hay are you doing with us in this frigid, frozen wasteland? But, they're gonna be house plants, so we'll see. We actually have um, another flower arrangement in the bathroom, but um, we did a live stream on that, so you guys will definitely have to check that out too. But yeah, I just love this. I cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait. We've made it to New Mexico. Then we head to Texas but the part we drive through doesn't have much going on. One interesting thing about the part of Texas where me and Zena just looked this up. So right out here, we're getting up to Dalhart, Texas, and you guys can't tell right here, but there's tons, hundreds of crop circles starting about right here on the map and going all the way to Dalhart, Texas, which is actually kind of an interesting story. It's due to a um, method of irrigation where I think that thing, uh, I don't even know if you guys can see it. There's like a metal thing out there. It like spins around to irrigate. So I believe that's why there's so many crop circles, but that's kind of one of the little funky, interesting things from the part of Texas we drive through. And there's lots and lots of cows. And 
like I said, most of the part of Texas we drive through doesn't have much going on for it. But you guys, I absolutely love time lapses. So while you watch this funky kind of weird little time lapse, we're gonna say another big thank you to Munchbird for wanting to partner with Xena. We definitely are bringing those treats on this trip and Xena will be enjoying them once we get to Iowa. But you guys, we just made it to Oklahoma and so far, you can't see her, but Xena has joined me and Mr. Piggy is still surviving. So, um, we will keep you guys updated as we keep driving and tomorrow as we continue to drive. Well, this is our usual camping spot, Mead, Kansas, the um, city park here. And it looks like it's nighttime, but it's actually the morning. So now we're going to um, keep on the road. We made it to Iowa and me and Zena are actually um, editing this video while Mr. Cameraman is out there doing poda. We are at um, Brushy Creek in Iowa. So we already got to my parents' farm and we've been doing a bunch of other stuff. But so this is a little update on Mr. Piggy. So, so far the fishbone cactus and the variegated prickly pear, those are what looks droopy. This guy almost totally fell out and these two are not really attached anymore. So later on this evening or tomorrow, I'm going to go through and just kind of resettle everything, get everything into its spot. I did water it again. I actually gave it quite a bit of water and it seems like it's drying up like really quickly if you look in all of the gaps. So I think I might water it again, but so far I think he's doing pretty well. This guy, I've had prickly pears and I've grown this one in Arizona before. A lot of times they will stand back up. So I'm not entirely worried about him. And this cactus, even though it has droop, it's not changing colors. It's not like looking super weird or anything. So I'm not super worried about that guy either, but we'll see. Okie dokie, you guys. As you can probably hear, it is quite rainy outside. Xena hates the rain, so she is all the way under the blankets in that pile somewhere. She's just chillaxing a little bit. And I need to solve some issues, you guys. Okay, first of all, the soil really, 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 really settled in there way more than I thought it would from the drive. So all of the roots are still touching the soil, except for this dude right here. And then this guy is currently skewered into the dirt. So I need to get him propped up a little bit. I have some ideas. I think I'm going to use the bundle of sticks and kind of like weave it through and shove it down in there. Maybe um, cover up all of those exposed roots. I'm not super concerned about them. I mean, the roots are still touching the soil. They're in the soil. They're kind of covered up by all of the other plants anyways. So yeah, I think, um, and then this dude, he, I don't understand, he keeps falling over. So we are just going to see what happens. So let's do this thing. Okie dokie. So really the main thing that me and Xena needed to do today is fill in the gaps and kind of rearrange some of the stabilizing or uh, the stable parts of the cacti. I don't really know how I want to say that. So I think what we've done is really pretty. I have weaved the bundle of sticks kind of through it. I have filled up the gaps. I have restabilized a couple of the spots. So let me show you guys exactly what we- Okie dokie. So here is Mr. Piggy. Now there was a gap right here and some of the aloes were just a little bit um, funky looking. So what I did was I actually brought this bundle of sticks from the back and weaved it and then used my skewer to push it down in. And then it is sticking out right here. So it makes this side even more pretty, even more dynamic. And you can no longer see the dirt right there. I mean, you can if you really get in there, but from far away, you cannot see that big gap right there any longer. The same was true right here. There was a gap, lots of soil. You can still see this soil a little bit, but what I did was I just took this bundle of sticks and I just wrapped it around and used my little skewer and I'll actually stick the end down in there and we'll see what that looks like. I kind of like the look. Oh yeah, I like that. 
I like the look of the bundle of sticks just like wrapped in on itself like that. I think that's really pretty. This is the front of Mr. Piggy. Then as we go around this side, I really utilized the bundle of sticks to rapidly wrap wrap around all of these plants over here. Give me one second. Actually, I think I'll be able to do this without stopping the camera. And you can see as I'm moving this, the plants do seem a little bit more stable after me and Zena just did that. So this is like the main front and, or actually this is like the secondary front. And I know it looks wild, you guys, but I literally love it. So what I did originally on the way here, this dude, this moon cactus and the pina colada had basically like completely fallen over. So I took the two aloes that had fallen over, jammed those in there, and then stuck a whole bunch of the bundle of sticks down in there also. And then I just weaved the bundle of sticks kind of throughout this whole back area. I think it is super pretty, very beautiful. Again, the bundle of sticks will get some funky blooms. And you guys look, before we came to Iowa, we did not have any white tips like this. So I don't know if this is new growth. It appears to be so. And then some of the bundle of sticks like right here turned very, very bright green. So I think that he seems to be happy. This little dude is doing fine back here. We kind of wrapped him up a little bit too. Once we get inside, um, once this goes to its final home, I will be able to um, let down a couple of these possibly and let them rest on the table. But to be honest, I really like how it looks. Here is a little needle that is now in my <laughs> finger. So I'll have to get that out. But yeah, I really, really like how this looks. Let me show you guys how I water this thing. Now, I'm sure this isn't the best way to water set arrangement, but you guys, uh, there's not really a better way that I can imagine doing it. So I'm literally just taking the water and letting it get all the way down in there. And I am making sure that every area of the planter, each one of the plants is getting a little bit of a drink. Now, surprisingly, this has gotten more water than I would typically water cactus and it keeps drying out though so i think it is liking the amount of water it's getting obviously like i said earlier all of these cactus all of these plants like to dry out completely before they're watered next so i'm just going to dry up under there it does have a drainage hole but um with this uh form of watering obviously you're going to get water all over the sides and the edges too but you guys i think we're finally done this is the completed Mr. Piggy. We're in Iowa, and I might show you guys what it looks like once it's in its final home. Not sure yet, but yeah. If you liked this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Oh, and Zena is under there, so I don't want to disturb her, but you guys, she loves those Munchbird chicken chips. 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend. Link and promo code down below. Thank you so much, Munchbird. Zena loves the chicken chips. But if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you never miss the next time we make a crazy arrangement like this, try out new dog treats, or upload any one of our other random crazy videos. Get out and enjoy what God has given us, and get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do. Have a great one. Look at how pretty it is. I love it.